Hey guys, how you doing tonight? Today we are going to take some ramen, some leftovers, and a can of tomatoes to make a delicious chicken stew. As you can see here, I've got some leftovers. I've got just some chicken leftover from the other day with all the fat still in there. You do want all of that. Have some juice from some leftover chicken noodle soup. And I have just some leftover Chinese food from today. Can of diced tomatoes. And then ramen to match whatever type of protein you have. I have chicken, so I have chicken ramen today. Start this off, take your trusty can opener. Be smarter than me. Get the can opener attached to the can. Go ahead and dump that in there. And give that just a little bit of a shake. And go ahead and turn the heat on. And you want your heat to be fairly high at first because you want it to come all the way to a boil. And you're gonna turn it down afterwards. But go ahead and use some of your liquid, but not all of it, because you're gonna wanna save some back for later. So you have some extra liquid to put in before you put your noodles in. Give that a stir. There's vegetables in my soup, which is great. Go ahead and open up your ramen and pull out your seasoning packet. You're going to want this. And give it a shake. Alright, we're going to turn that up some of that. While we are waiting on that to come up to a boil, why don't you guys go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and leave me a comment on videos you guys think I might need to do. I'm hoping to read those. I will read every single comment that you guys post. Alright, that is coming up to a boil, so open up your seasoning packet. And you're only going to take about half of this for now and dump that in there. And set that back off to the side. Give us a good stir. And that seasoning packet is going to give you all of the salt and other things that you need in this to make it nice and unctuous. Now what you're doing is you're waiting on it to come back up to a bubble, which should only take a couple of seconds. And then you're going to take your chicken, fat and all, and you want all of that fat in there because that's all flavor. And you're just going to drop that in there and let that heat through. And that chicken is shredded chicken that we use to make nachos. All right, when that is back up to a boil, you are going to let that heat for six minutes. And that is about all it's gonna need. And once that six minutes is up, you only have another about three minutes of cook time left. But while that's going on, I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna pick out just some of this veg to go into our stew. And that sauce can go in, some of that sauce can go in there too. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm just going to have that ready to go in there when there's about two minutes left on our timer. Alright, so there's two minutes left on our timer. We're going to go ahead and add all that veg in there. Now 
Now remember, the sauce from the vegetables is pure flavor, so it's okay for a little bit of that to get in there. All right. And we're just gonna let that come back up to heat. All right, so our timer just dinged. There's actually plenty of liquid in there still, so I won't need the rest of the soup from this. So I'm just gonna dump that in there and get that submerged as far as I can. Okay. And whatever your package says, do a minute less because you want those noodles to have a little bit of firmness still but they are going to help thicken your soup just a little bit and it's going to make it more of a stew like consistency and while we're sitting here i want to talk to you about people who give me these kinds of containers when i do to go food i love these people this as long as you hand wash it can be reused many many times for many different things all right about halfway through that time go ahead and break your noodles up and spread that out through your soup let that go. Alright. Once that timer is done, go ahead and shut your burner off and let it sit for about a minute. And that will give you time to get out your trusty bowl. Once your timer's done, go ahead and let that sit for about a minute while you take your time and get out your trusty bowl. All right, pick your bowl out. Go ahead and just dump away. At this point, if you want to, you can go ahead and put the other half of that seasoning packet in here. But honestly, I don't really think it needs it. Here you guys go. My tomato ramen stew. The votes are in. Looks like next week's early week challenge is going to be the five item dollar store challenge. If you guys can think of any other challenges you would like me to do, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And do all the rest of the YouTube things. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe.